Hello there and welcome back to Button Addict. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the flipping video. Today we are actually playing a game, Loop Hero. I have no idea what this game is. I have no idea what you do in this game. So this is completely blind. So let's get down to business and see what this is all about. Subscribe. The stars in the sky are going out one by one. But no one notices it. No one can stop it. I'm racing to the last place where there is still hope. I need to make it before. Before it is too late. The sound of agony will quickly fade. The world will be revealed. The world will be destroyed. Even the memory of it will be gone. And even if there is absolutely no chance of bringing it all back, there will always be someone who is willing to do the impossible. In a place without space, without time, without memories. Where am I? I can't see a thing. Except this path, my head is killing me. I remember only a skeleton with a staff up in the sky. This darkness was coming from him. Did he destroy everything around here? Just standing here won't do me any good, I guess. To change between adventure, traveling through the map and playing, stop and press X. Okay, so currently I'm in planning phase. Oh, okay. Okay, I hope I'll be able to find some shelter before nightfall. If night is even if night still exists without the sky that is. Okay. Pay attention to the day progress bar at the top of the screen. New enemies usually appear at the end of the day. Continue your journey by changing your game. Okay. Uh, a living ball of slime. Quite a nuisance. They digest everything that they can. Hey, I remember this creature. Maybe I just need to freshen up my memory and everything will go back to normal. Yay. Traveling, fighting, and other actions are done automatically. The player can't affect them. Okay. Show equipped. Ah, oh, nice. I've slapped the shit out of him. Okay, let's uh, slap him again. Yes. Nice. So I've got something in my bar now. I killed a slime. How to move? It's hard to fight with your axe. No, with your bare hands. I think there's an undigested weapon in the remains of that thing. So this is a point and click. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. There was a grove nearby. Are these things, are these even my memories? Or did they belong to that slime? Okay. And you could use cards that... Okay, defeating enemies add various new objects to the map. That's what planning mode. Hold it to switch card selection and... 
I'm going to forget this immediately. Okay, so what do I do? Okay. A gentle bustle of leaves. Okay. Do I not have any weapon? Oh, God. I'm pressing X. Wait. Oh, okay. I have to drag the card. Okay. I have to play how to drag the card. I might add that I'm playing a controller here. But. Okay. Who did. Who left trigger? to switch to card selection right there you go now could you ah okay so i placed the card okay so there's my little character walking along oh i'm kind of the beast i'm going to die okay okay right come on one more swing and this wolf thing should be dead. Come on. Kill. Murder. Subscribe to the channel. Because that would be super awesome. So the idea of this game is you keep just going round and round. Dying multiple times. Until you figure out a pattern. And plus what do I get to keep? If I die, what things do I get to keep? Oh, nice. I have two cards. I slapped the crap out of that beast. Look at this skeleton there. Oh, okay, there's no skeleton. But he's dead, though. This game is very nice, but very slow. A forest of rat wolf. Yeah, disgusting. I was right. Some emotional stress. A few vivid images and a bit of adrenaline. And I'll forget it all like a bad dream. I mean, I'll remember it like it was a bad... Damn it. Good thing nobody heard that. As you probably noticed, you can get new items, cards during battle. Some items have unique features as do most of the cards. My uh, okay, so you right trigger uh, now with the bloody old Oh, wow, so you want me to plant my ass on the map? Okay. So I'll place this one. Good. So there's a mountain over there and the forest over there. The world's almost back. 
the branches of the stones in my backpack are a sure sign of that. Off we go. I've made one loop round. I think it's time I get some rest. The game itself is a journey on a loop path. Only you will decide when it's time for the hero to return to camp. Either you can... Either you or the fangs and claws of your enemies, of course. You can retreat almost any time, but a special animation will let you show what it's safe to do so. It's cold and dark here. A small fire can solve the both of those problems. Nice place to set up camp. This is when all the resources you've gathered will come in handy. Press the build button. Okay. Okay, so what the hell got Yeah! Okay. Yes, I would like to build this fire. Yes, build a fire. Fire arsonist. Come on! Just build me a friggin' fireman. Okay, okay, look. I'll do you solid. I won't break you and you let me build a fire. This is a fire. Okay, okay. I'll do you deal. This artwork reminds me of Ender's game. Okay. Okay, guys, guys, guys. I think I'm done for today. Alright? I've played Loop Hero and I've figured out it's not my sort of game. Everything is just slower. Okay? But you've seen what the game's like. You've seen the first three minutes of the game and it's up to you to decide whether you like it or not. But it's not for me. Okay? It's probably a sick game. I could probably watch other people play it and they'll be really good at it. But anyway, I'm off. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, ring the notification bell, all that good stuff, and of course, I'm out.